So we're back with another video and today's video is called Mortal Dilemma. And what a dilemma it is, cause Grim is trying to decide if he should be good or not. But let's get right into the video. The video starts like any old day with Grim and Billy trying to get some breakfast. Billy is scoffing down his favorite cereal brand while Grim just decides to get some coffee for the day. While they're sitting at the table, Grim decides to read the back of the cereal box. And what he reads is crazy, I don't understand how Billy's still alive. After picking up the milk, Grim sees his picture on the back and says, no, I'm not missing. I'm just kidnapped by these two kids and I can't get away. Out of nowhere, a little bat demon pops out of nowhere. Grim's old friend. He's like, Grim, I finally found you. Grim end up explaining how he got captured by the two kids and what he betted on. Right after explaining, the little bat demon disappeared, came back with a few more friends and they just started laughing at Grim. How you got so little sympathy for somebody? You thought he was missing the whole time, you finally find him, and then hear his story, and then start busting out laughing at him, that's just messed up. So on the other side of the table, while all this is happening, Billy is over there looking like he's about to birth the Antichrist out of his mouth and stuff. All that cereal's getting to his brain and stomach, just turns out it was just a burp. But that burp is insanely crazy how it looks. Cause when it hits the bat demon things, yo, it just melts all three of them. And then it goes to the next scene. We got Billy, Mandy, and Grim all walking to the bus stop so they can go to school for today. Of course, Grim can't go to school with them. So what does he have to do? Nothing, absolutely nothing. You know why? Because while they're gone, Mandy said he can't Grim reap. He can't really do anything for himself because they own him. And that's where the dilemma of this episode comes in. If Grim can't Grim Reap, then what is he? What can he really do? So he takes a little walk. He ends up walking towards a busy crossroad street, standing next to this little girl that doesn't look like she should be walking alone. I mean, not just because of her age. If you understand, you understand. Grim starts pondering in his head. It's not my fault if she starts walking when cars are still coming. I'm the Grim Reaper. If I see it, I have to take up. Lil Shorty knows that Grim is there, and the fear in her eyes and her heart is showed on her shoulder. Tell me why the light lasted three seconds, but Shorty turned into the best track star in the universe for one second. As soon as the light turned green, she was on the other side of the street before Grim could look down again. And the funniest part was there were still cars coming while she was running through the street. Since Grim couldn't get that soul, he ends up finding the Walmart version of number four mixed with auto rock. Bro is legitly jumping over full city streets with his eyes covered with his hair. Grim is impressed, so he starts flying in the air following him, seeing if he's gonna crash or something. But turns out bro is on S game mode, until a construction site comes in his sight. Well actually, he can't see anything cause that hair is covering his That gets Grim excited, so he's like faster, faster. Keep going faster even though you're not gonna make that jump. And Grim was right, he didn't make the jump even the slightest. Just when you think that Grim was about to get his reaping, nope. He ends up saving the day by himself. Remember when I said Grim was flying in the air? Yep, he swooped down looking like Superman, got him to the other side, and he was like, hey man, I like your style, that's why I saved you. But then that got Grim thinking, if he can't be the Reaper, can he be good? And that's when he tries to denounce the Grim Reaper title and become a little bit of a superhero, I would guess, or a vigilante, a vigilante. So to test his chops, he goes out and try to save an old lady from getting robbed. It works perfectly fine. He pops up out of nowhere. The guy is scared out of his mind and runs off. The lady says, oh, thank you, honey. Turns around and it's a Grim Reaper himself. Her next reaction was justified. She sees that it's Grim and just runs off screaming, yelling, I'm too young to die. I don't know about that. But then we get to the next scene where there's a cat up in a tree. But I feel like this cat is not up there because it's stuck. I feel like the cat is up there to get away from those kids. He's up there checking his nails, singing a little meow meow song and stuff like that. He chilling bro, he really chilling up. But here comes Grim looking like Jesus Christ himself. Out of nowhere to save the cat from the tree. Bro just be swooping up out of nowhere, that's funny. Because when the cat seen Grim, he went into a shock, straight stunned. Brought him back down to the kids and the kids was like, I think he's paralyzed. But that brings us to the funniest scene in this episode, yo. Starts off with the, it starts off with the crossing lady, right? Walking the kids across the street. Grim spots the situation and notice that there's an erratic car driving down the street. And Paul Blart in the car, bro, he ain't even spitting on the phone. He over there, blah, 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 blah. So you know he off a of perk 30. But still, Grim has to get into the car and enable the dude's phone. So he just kills the phone and you see the soul just fly away. But then, dude understands what he's doing and sees what's going on. We get the picture, the meme, 
This thing right here, bro, I don't understand why this hasn't been memed a thousand times, but we got this. Miss Mary Mac, belly booty body looking, Billy nose looking mommy. Oh my God, she's terrible. That's besides the point. I'm getting off track. Paul Blart looking dude ends up stopping right before the kids, but he looks into his rear view mirror and see Grim. That's when he just floors. Luckily, all the kids was on the sidewalk by then, but they all came back on the street to get all mad and angry and start waving their fists. Bro Bro ended up crashing into a tree and running off because Grim was in the backseat. We come to the end of the day in another episode where Grim's distraught because he doesn't know where he wants to go with his life. Just then, Billy and Manny pops up. And Manny's like, hey, where you been all day? Just when Grim was trying to explain himself, Manny cuts him off and was like, I forgot the name of the dog, but he was trying to bury him in the yard all day. So end off the episode with Grim getting buried in the backyard of Manny's house. I actually like this episode. It's starting to ramp up to the old Billy and Manny episodes that I used to love. Like, when they start getting into the traveling to different places and stuff, that's when it starts to get really, really good. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe. What video should I do next? Should I keep on doing this series? Let me know down in the comments down below. And hey, Till next time. Be that nigga that they don't wanna feed. And my heart is full of hate, so I don't need no pop.